What up, you guys? It's your boy, Samurai King 8, and I'm back again with a One Piece chapter 876 Pudding Coincidentally re Appears review and thoughts. So, uh, whew, this chapter here, man, whew, I think this is going to upset a lot of people in the fandom uh, because Pudding, she's, she's, she reminded me of a lot of Rebecca. And not because of the characters and all that stuff. Um, it's just not like the characteristics between them. They're, they're very different characters, but it's just that she's taking a lot of screen time and she's being annoying. That's two things in One Piece we do not want because there's so much to cover. And we hate that about um, a lot of those type of characters. Um, with the whole Cinderella thing, the flip flopping personality thing, because before it felt like she was just putting on a front. Uh, instead of having a split personality. We don't know where this split personality shit came from. She was, um, I mean, we were all just thinking that, well, I was thinking like this, like, you like, you know how, um, you're at your job and, you know, you had put on a front at your job that you like, like talking to customers, you like doing your job and all that stuff. But then, you know, you get behind closed doors, you talking that shit and say, I hate this. I hate that person. I hate all this shit. That's what it felt like she was doing. Now, <coughs> excuse me. I don't know if her, if, if, Sanji telling her he, how beautiful she is and all that shit. If that has anything to do with this, I'm pretty sure it does. And that maybe she just don't know how to deal with that. But that, ooh, I don't see how that can really make her turn to this. But that seems to be what's happening. I don't know. But um, another thing that's going to piss off a lot of fans because this is basically something we've been doing like kind of the whole new world. And that's running. This chapter was about, I want to say maybe 95% running of just us running for Big Mom. Um, because if Red Chap, you know that she was in the big hole, she got blasted from Nami, which pissed off a lot of people last week with so Zeus thing. Uh, I mean, it's good to see no, uh, Big Mom just get right back up and start fighting and everything, still wrecking shit and all that shit. Um, of course, she wouldn't get defeated. I said that last week, she wasn't going to get defeated. It was a dumbass to think that she was going to get defeated. But, um, that's yeah i'm glad to see that happen but let me kind of go in car, car uh, in order of what happened in this in the chapter then give you those thoughts because i, I just want to talk about that first because i know that's gonna be it's like a it's gonna be a hot button topic with her character and going forward in this arc because we, we still got quite a ways to go in this arc in a way um so i'm very sad about this too this is probably gonna piss off a lot of fans too we're not covering Bartholome anymore in the cover art and i'm like what the fuck? i mean maybe we will i don't know but uh, it just makes sound like, okay, so last thing we saw was Bartholomew burning uh, Shank's flag. Then we jump to this, uh, Dun Sal's um, uh, cover art and story. And uh, I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, what the fuck? We wanted to see Bartholomew if somebody was going to meet up, talk, talk, talk to him, or talk shit to him, and say, hey, you burn our flag. You know, Shanks means so much to Luffy. Why would you do this? And all that shit. But uh, I guess we're not going to find out what happened there. Um, but then we got done Sal. I mean, I like him because um, I want to see Baby Fire too. So uh, I like him. I think well, he's a cool character to me. But I know this is gonna piss off a lot of people because that that's not X story not gonna be covered anymore. But um, I mean, Big Mom basically running through the ground. It really kind of hard to figure to see what she's doing there. I think that she's basically like um, they said climb up. So I guess she was climbing up and kind of like just digging through the ground. It was kind of weird what she was doing there. Uh, like kind of like burrowing through the ground like that one character that uh, Usopp and Chopper fought back in the day in Alabaska. I can't think of his name now. Um, excuse me. Um, that was pretty cool to see that there, uh, see her doing that. And uh, cause I mean, if you look at page seven, you can kind of see, it looks like she's maybe eating her way. Or, I can't tell if she's eating her way through the ground or just running. But uh, she's screaming wedding cake and that's, funny because the way it's translated it looks like she's just saying weed <laughs> weed dean cake and I love, I love what she's saying and it's pretty funny um and then that's when pudding showed up and we're still running pedro made a good point he said i just said look i told you look we just tied her ass up uh when we had the chance so this bitch wouldn't even be fucking with us right now and uh we had the whole sundary thing with her like i said before um and sanji so basically what happened in this chapter in this section here was we just had a lot of the chapter right here was basically chiffon and putting recruiting sanji to go make the cake 
which you know we we all have debated and speculated that was going to happen and it's happening now it remains to be seen like how it's going to kind of shake out i mean um i mean i i like i said before it was whatever to me i i i had to hope there was going to be a little bit more to it but this is a story that we seem to be getting right now that sanji chiffon and putting are going to make this cake and they were saying Shafan and Putin was that she would come to her senses and forgive them. I'm like, fuck that. Dang, she ain't come to her senses and forgive them. Like, Luffy ate the cake for one thing, uh, the original wedding cake, and fucked up the wedding. Sanji ran off from the wedding <laughs> and fucked up all this, just, just fucked up the wedding in general. So, I can't see her being a forgiving move because of the cake. I mean, I know she kind of kind of was before. I mean, think about with Jinbei. When Jinbei feared her, he said, "Want to lead the crew?" She was, she wasn't so gracious enough to fucking uh, let him just lead the crew because he fed her uh, the shit she was craving. Um, she was just trying to make him play that fucking um, that wheel of fortune type shit game, and um, no, and he was like, "Fuck that shit, um, uh, Jinbei." So I that's very naive to think that she was just gonna forgive them for that. And um, the next thing that happens because all this shit is okay. They they the Ingredients is going to be on Chocolate Island or Chocola I, a Town. And um, basically, they have to go behind where the ship is. And there's another ship there. I don't know what, what, what the other ship is. Um, and they go there and make the cake. Now, we'll see how long it's going to take them to make this cake. And uh, to see how things shake out afterwards. Because, I mean, they, okay, let's say they made the cake, get the big mom. What's going to happen after that? Because Luffy is going to fight uh, Katakuri. On this fucking ship because he's there, and we know Katsuri is gonna probably defeat Brook. And I hope that fight doesn't get skipped. But I next chapter, okay, old old is kind of old us a little bit. Next chapter should be Brook fighting Brook and Chopper, Chopper fighting Katsuri and Pedro Sparrow, and maybe defeat Pedro Sparrow, but not uh Pedro Sparrow, but not defeating Katsuri. Katsuri probably getting the best of them. And then also another thing here was uh Shafan saying the ship looked damaged, so. I don't know. Looking at the picture, I couldn't tell if there was damage. I mean, maybe not big damage because the ship is still on the floating in the water. So of course not enough damage for it to sink. But um, I thought that was interesting that she said that, and I'm looking. I'm like, where's the damages? I didn't see no damage, so I don't know. But um, um, let me see. At any time about them being exposed to, in, uh, to the sea and possibly getting sunk on. That's basically what she was talking about there. And um, I mean, that's a big possibility because she's behind them. Throwing these big ass um, sword swipes, uh, the Mighty Nation swipes, and uh, they look like they could do a lot to the ship. So hopefully they can get her the cake and all that shit before they get there. But it's gonna be interesting to see because Luffy said he can see the coast, so they're very close to the ship. So it's gonna be interesting to see them on the ship fighting Katsukuri and Big Mom on the. Sh well, I mean, I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. I, I can't, I'm trying to picture my mind how they're gonna work out because Big Mom is gonna be on the shore. We know she can't. Um, well, well, I'm sure she can jump real high, but I know she can't be on the ship because she's so damn heavy. I don't know. It's gonna, that's gonna be very odd, uh, odd to see how old is gonna handle that. And then it was cool too that Putin did tell them that they were going the wrong way. So that was good for her, uh, helping them. But then she pulled that whole scenario shit again, saying uh, Sanja couldn't ride on the uh, the carpet. I'm like, how is he gonna fucking get there? And she's talking about swim. But well, that's pretty funny. Um, and then she did something interesting here too with the with the uh, what did she say flashback uh, memories? And she made all the homies remember the soul, their soul lives, well, the lives before they became the homies. And it's kind of got them a little shook too. And Big One can't control them no more, so they kind of out of the way. So it's close. so the Straw Hats basically have a straight shot to the ship. So we should be getting to the ship next chapter. I hope so. Uh, because they, cause for where they were. The ship, the, their, their magic rub flew pretty fast, so they really close to the ship, I would assume so. Um, and we'll see this Luffy and Cops career fight, uh, which would be interesting. And maybe Big Mom, too. I don't know. But um, they're basically saying, too, all those enemies that we saw in Brulee's world are coming through Nami's uh, mirror on the ship. And so uh, it seems like Brooke and Chopper are doing a good job fighting on the ship fighting them soldiers off, off on the ship, but um, they're getting tired, and you see that shit. And I, I like the line that Brooke dropped there. He was like, I'm Soul King. So, all that shit. I, I kinda like the little line he, he dropped there. Um, 
And then uh, Zeus talked again about him uh, wanting some more of the egg, so he might become a factor again against Big Mom, but we'll see how that how that shakes out. And then Sanji said something interesting here too. So something very different from what Pudding and Shafan said. He says he's gonna make a cake so good that Big Mom's gonna faint. Now, that would be the key. That's the key there. So maybe he can do something because we know he, you know he knows all those recipes from uh the, I'm about to say the training island. Uh, the island with uh Yvonne Koff and all them. Um he got their recipe. So maybe he has a recipe where they they from the cake where they can make Big Mom fall fall and go to sleep. I don't know if that's what's gonna happen there, but that'd be interesting if he does add something like that in and they don't see it. Cause I mean he can do some stuff like that. But I don't know if he cause cause I <sighs> Cause he wants to enjoy it and he doesn't seem to decide to want to poison people even though he should but i don't know with Lua, with sanji i just don't know but and that's pretty much the chapter uh like i said it's gonna be a very mixed bag i want to read the comments see what people are saying about this chapter i know they're gonna be pissed about uh um bakar sendari fucking pudding and see first come i see all the just redefine the concept of sendari uh, cooking by the book by Sanji Pudding featuring Little John. Okay, I guess that's supposed to be Chapon. Uh, I mean, I thought they already had the cake. No, that's not right. Okay, he, he damn it, read. I hope that Luffy's gonna eat the cake and make me want to be angry. No, don't do that. That's not gone. That's not a good. Okay, Pudding and Chopper tie for the most beautiful monsters in the series. Okay. Uh, let's see here. 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 Um, Rick Ross dancer like that was pretty a hype. He's ready to go. Yeah, I like that. So, and there's nothing to somebody just brought up too. What is Katsukuri planning? He is planning something. I mean, you know, you've seen the future. He, he probably yeah, like you said, somebody on him said realized that the strides are near. So hopefully, with his um observation hockey, um, first Luffy beat a general by eating his powers. Then they're gonna beat a damn Yonko with food. I love it. Oh, yeah, that's pretty much gonna happen. So I mean, then that's pretty much chapter. Um, I enjoy points in this chapter, but the whole chapter in as a whole wasn't that good to me. To me, honestly, uh, I mean, I gotta give it a five out of ten, an average chapter. Because guys, like it was points and it was pretty good. Well, five out of ten, I think it's pretty good because the average is it's pretty much an average chapter. I mean, we just had a lot of running for at least I want to say at least ten pages, at least running and, and and then we have pudding being her sedary self and like i said before i think the fans are gonna be very pissed about that from the comments there it didn't seem like they're pretty pissed about this um um but uh i'm pretty sure people are gonna be pissed about this because they they do not like when characters are taking away screen time from the story or from the uh main point at hand like i said with uh rebecca you know she was so hated was not because just because she was so useless and weak and she almost took one of the of uh fucking ace del fruit it's because she her backstory was told like so many different times and that just took away from the dress social arc because it was told from her point of view from k rose point of group view from doflamingo's point of view from diamante's point of view from the fucking well i don't think it's from the um the 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 tantata i don't think it's from that point of view but it was just her story was told so, so many times, like at least three to four times that it, it and then like, like, cause I guess, cause uh, you know, everybody's memories are all erased and everything. But um, yeah, that, that's why I can see Pudding being hated and why I see this chapter not being so light. Because people were pissed by last week with Nami just getting a hit off on uh, Big Mom. You know people are gonna be pissed this week because of Pudding. And this whole split personality thing that just came out of nowhere and her i still in my mind i don't know how she knows that sanji is such a good cook i mean because i had i thought that they didn't meet until like a little bit before the wedding but it's just my thought i don't know uh if you like what i had to say here you throw your boy a like uh comment and subscribe and also share the video because it really helps me out that's pretty much all I have to say. I'll see you guys next week for the next chapter. And maybe tomorrow. All in on today too for a video too. I don't know. I have to see what's, what's popping today. Uh, so that's all for me. Peace.